Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is advice for women dating over 40 plus. Now I know I'm opening up a very controversial topic here because there are so many opinions from both men and women when it comes to this subject because everybody seems to have something to say about why we don't find love after a certain age. Well, I find this to be very annoying and also it's a lot of attitude problems here because what happens when women keep hearing from guys that no, they only want to date younger women and they're not attracted to women over 40 because they're not as uh, taking care of themselves as much, they're not putting enough energy into how they look and all this other stuff. But the big problem here is you always hear from the loudest people who have things to say that aren't necessarily the gospel truth. Because what happens here is the, the people who are kind and, and just really quite sweet about everything and just really truly want to find love, they're not the ones putting out the strong judgment. They're the ones that are kind of sitting back saying to themselves, well, I kind of give up. What's the point? I never meet anybody because this is what's going on. The biggest problem I find here is that when we get something stuck in our head about what we believe that's going on out there, it plays quite loudly and it, it's sort of a re repetitive conversation that we, we feel from when we hear it from other people, we feel within ourselves because we're not meeting anybody. I got married again at 50. I have three friends who just recently got married and they're all in their 50s and some of them are even close to 60. It can happen. The problem is attitude is the biggest culprit in why things are not changing here and why so many women are at home and saying to themselves, I'm not going to meet anybody. I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life. You don't have to be. I understand. I get it. Online dating sucks for a lot of people, especially older women, because you're on there and there's a lot of younger women that are on there and the men are all going for them because why wouldn't they? It's like a candy store. They're all sitting there. The guys try it. They go out and date some of the younger women. Some guys do okay with it, but there's a lot of men who don't want somebody that's 20 years younger than them. They want to be able to talk to their partner, to be able to have the same things in common. It's all about attitude. I really believe if you change your attitude, you change your life. If you keep repeating similar phrases constantly about what isn't working, what's not happening, who you're not meeting, you're going to continue having the same type of people coming towards you or not coming towards you. This is what's going to happen. I really think that if you can change how you feel about things and understand, hey, why can't I have love in my life? Why, why do some people get it and I don't? The difference is because they believe they deserve it. They also get off the couch and if they're not online dating, they're out doing other things. They find social groups in their city with people around their similar age. Don't go out every time uh, thinking oh, I need to meet somebody. Go out and just have fun. Because sometimes when you're not looking and you're not putting so much energy into what isn't happening, things happen for you. They automatically happen. Another thing I hear is that from men is that, well, women deserve it. They've passed over all these great guys because they were too picky or they wanted the wallet. They wanted all these things. And now, hey, now they got to live with it. They're stuck with it. That's not the case. There's a lot of women who maybe have lost a partner uh, through illness or a medical situation. There's some people that were busy with their careers and they put energy into that and, and now they're in their 40s and they haven't met anybody and it's, they're, they're missing that part in their life. It's not because everybody wasn't a nice person. People need to stop being judgy and opinionated like this. And if they are, take yourself out of that equation if you're hearing it or you're in, in an environment where it's happening all the time. Put yourself in a different place, whether it's 
meeting people all around your age they're doing something sporty or maybe there's a trivia night or a pub night or something like that go and put yourself out there and start to be positive and think positive it's very easy to take on the negative when it keeps happening but if you change up the thinking just a bit each time you will meet more people and if you're out meeting even girls meeting other women meeting other women they might have a friend they might know somebody there's all sorts of things that happen when you open up your world but if you say stay stuck in a sort of pessimistic thinking how is that going to open up for you i mean it makes sense don't you think no one said it was easy all it takes is one person and yes it might take two years five years whatever but if you stay with a very strong positive attitude that you do deserve it and why can't it happen to you you're going to have a much bigger chance of meeting somebody please ladies i have to i'm i know i'm vocal about this today i just really want you to understand there are some great guys out there if you're on any kind of social site when you're seeing all these negative comments about women that are older get off of them this is a potential partner you're talking about. It shouldn't be easy. But if you stay home every day and just keep repeating the same lines about what isn't happening, it's not going to make it better for you. Change it up. Get off the couch. Go out and talk to people. In my coaching business and line of work and just on my YouTube channel, I hear from a lot of people, men and women, and both of them, seem to be a little bit hurt so i know that's where the anger is coming from and and the judgy comments and and be people just getting fed up they just don't want to do it anymore but the thing is if you're coming to a video or you're reading a blog post that's about relationships about love finding love you do want it in your life and that's the important thing to remember rather than saying it's never going to happen i'm never going to meet anybody change up the word just focus on a different phrase in your head. I'm looking forward to meeting my special person. Go out with a new attitude. And don't watch videos or negative things on social media that make you depressed or sad about the fact that maybe you're single at an older age. We all have different things that happen to us in our life. And there's people of all ages that are single. There's a lot more, I hate to say it, but there's a lot more divorce happening. There's a lot of things going on now that people are more out there at, a, at an older age and they're single. The good thing is there are different websites if you want to do that, online dating, where you can meet people. There's older uh, dating sites and I understand not everybody on there is going to be your type and you're not going to be everybody's type. But it only takes one person. And sometimes we have a type that shouldn't be there. We should open our eyes and try something different to bring us different results. That's another thing that I'm finding, is that people are repeating a lot of similar uh, styles of dating or dating the same type of people that aren't working for them. Try something completely out of the box. And if anybody wants to set you up with somebody, Go give it a shot. You just go for a coffee. You don't have to put a lot of energy or spend a lot of money to go out and, and try and meet your special person. But if you change your attitude and change your thinking, you're going to have a much better chance of meeting them. So thank you so much for listening to my little rant today. Please leave any comments you have. I'm sure there'll be a few. And I want you to all go out there and just have some fun. Take the whole thing off the table right now. Go out, meet some new people, have some fun. You never know who's got a brother, who's got a, a friend that maybe will be a suitable per partner for you down the road. Just change how you think. Thank you so much for listening. I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday season. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so to my channel here at Dear Cyber Sue. And thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in today. Take care. Bye-bye.